I guess like, one of the questions that, that actually came up, we can answer this, and I didn't think to ask it earlier, but I want, should somebody that like a law enforcement first responder, or we talked about government, you know, uh, agencies or things like that, should they be worried about um, things that may come up on a blood test or anything like that? I think that's an important thing to, to know. Yes. So we've worked um, with tons of I mean, countless at this point, veterans, first responders, even within the government themselves, right? We have worked with the FBI on some stuff. Um, it's, you know, very specific factions of them. The product cannot pop a drug test. And the reason being is, is part of the beauty of it. What we are doing is we are extracting growth factors from another mammal, okay? So those growth factors are molecularly identical to what your body produces, they're just, remember, they're just proteins. They're protein amino acids. We're not replacing the hormone. We're not manipulating the glandular function like a synthetic peptide or a synthetic. Okay, so when you inject a synthetic hormone, you are replacing the hormone that exists. Now, when you do that, there's all kinds of issues, whether it's uh, natural hormone suppression or whatever, but it also has the ability to put you into an abnormal space where your blood panels will be through the roof, right? Yeah. You can take a ton of testosterone. It can throw you way into, uh, uh, that's how people would get caught for doing blood, blood panels. We don't have that ability to put you into an abnormal space. But secondly, there's not a urine test or a blood test that could ever, that could ever check for what we are doing because it is, it's a naturally occurring substance, mm -hmm. right? You, um, you can't test for it. That's where we fall into gray areas with some of the, you know, the pro fighters and stuff like that because it's not explicitly banned, but it's not necessarily, yep. you know, it's it's a newer thing. Um, we haven't had any issues yet, especially with drug testing in the military. Not one even question. Nothing has ever happened. We, we've we never had an issue with that. And I, I wouldn't be concerned with it again. I like to have a clear conscience. I can sell a lot of stuff. And I would never want to sell something to someone that could potentially... Um, I got a lot of buddies that still play football and, you know, they get paid per game. And if I were to ever get, you know, somebody, you know, lose one of their game checks, which is a, a, a you know, a significant, a penalty, yeah. you know, amount of cash, I, uh, I wouldn't be able to personally sleep in. I, I would, I take things almost to my own, you know, problem. I, I take things way too personal and I, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I, I, it would cause havoc. So I don't want to do those things. I am completely comfortable, always have been, with this product being in the hands of, you know, DOD, military law enforcement personnel, because there's no drug test to be concerned about, nor is it a banned substance. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, because I just mentioned football, I mentioned some other things. Technically, it is a banned substance via the NFL and Major League Baseball. How do you mean? Um, the raw materials that we're sourcing and the products that are being used are not allowed in the NFL specifically. So if you're, does it show up in a drug test? No, but, um, we, you, it is not allowed to be used okay. period. It is a banned substance. I don't know if the NHL is, it's been a while since I, it's been years since I've been involved in professional sports. But, you know, to, to be fair, that does show some credence of it kind of, kind of it works. You that, know what I mean? That's exactly what I was just going to say. I'm like, they don't ban things. Yeah, they don't that, ban things that, that, don't, that don't work. That don't work. Correct. So, so, yeah, that's a whole other thing. That, yeah, somebody asked me that, and that's exactly what I told them. So, you know, and they're not, they're not NFL or, and, and, yeah. or, uh, or MLB guys. So There's not much they, money, actually, to be made in NFL. You, you actually spend more money as a company <laughs> and stuff like that just for, like, credibility. It's like, it's like sponsoring race cars. Yeah. Like, there's... It isn't, there's no return there's on, no return on your investment. It yeah. is simply an ego drive. Right, um, sure. I'm not against it, though. Just I love see, car racing. Just see shit going around the track. <laughs> oh, dude, I, 100%. On man, the wall. I, yeah. No, man, yes. <laughs> what uh, What do you want people to know about, uh, about the product, about the company, and what they can look forward to just kind of in the future? That we care. We actually do care about the people that use our products and the people that, you know, want to get help from our products. Um, we are the same guys that use the products. We use them. We believe in them. Like it's a team of guys that do it. I and mean, you got two guys that use the products who believe in it so much. You know, I put my entire life into this company. So we care. We care about you. If you have questions, if you, if you want more information, like please reach out. You're speaking to a real human being that understands for the most part, your potential circumstances. And if we can't help you or answer something for you, guess what? I got, we got clinics all over the world at this point that go here. Here's the closest one. What's your zip code? Go talk to them. Go get a go get a physician to take you through their protocol. Do you have to go to a doctor? No. Should you? That's up to you. Are they available to you? A million percent. I have some all over the country that I would personally go see and, and put my own life in their hands. I'm happy to do that for anybody who is skeptical, who wants to go that route first. 
knock yourself out. Please reach out to us. Happy to make the introduction. I love that. Um, well, you've helped me so much, you know, and, and so many people I know in, in, uh, in so many ways. And, it, you know, I, I haven't known you that long, right? It's, it's been long enough, but I haven't known you that long. This has been, this has been, you know, again, this has been a sort of a treat for me to finally come and oh, kind of meet, man, the, meet the dude. I hope so. You know, that, that, that has helped me. That said, I mean, what, what can I do to help you? You're doing it. You're doing it. We just, um, again, we, our entire business and the livelihoods of the individuals that work with us and on our team are dependent upon getting the word of the product out there. That's exactly what you do. That's exactly, you know, what our relationship has created, was created for and to do those things. And, um, it's happy to continue to spawn and to grow from there. But the word of mouth is everything. If you use the product, if guys listen to your show or gals use the product, tell your friends, tell your, you know, family, we are limited in our ability to get the word out. So, those types of things are very impactful to the people that work for us, work with us, count on us. So that's a, that's a really big deal. <laughs>